Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Thursday, October 6, 2022. The first one was shared by MG and as you see here is a structural chart which is 30 minute on NASDAQ. CFD shows kind of uh, red candles trying to retest the support area so it's sideways but several two candles that are red and you can see it on five minute chart as a channel and this channel in one minute chart based on algo one two three uh, is in high property trading area the pullback got completed and he entered here and if you see it straight the stop loss and targets with exit strategy number one is in the right place with high win rate and initial risk to reward of one is entering this trade and managing that actively so let's see the outcome okay reach the target so thanks mg for sharing your trades with us the next trade uh, was shared by sh who's shorting euro usd and as you see he sees on the bigger time frame down trend and in the five minute uh, trading chart he see a down trend channel with the pullback completed he entered here the uh, in the good area with the stop loss and he's actively managing the trades and it's getting close to the target and that was the end of the video thank you such for sharing your trades with us uh, these are a few trades by Yan or Global Instructor. He is trading Micro Nasdaq futures. And as you see, the macro chart shows kind of sideways volatile, but the price is going up to retest the previous uh, resistance. And you can see it in a structural chart as an uptrend with the pullback completed. In the trading time frame, he's repeatedly long the pullbacks and ATM manages the close of positions with profit so we are getting very close to the previous level of the resistance and sellers are back and you can see that the momentum is lost now so this is his report of day and as you see he has profit factor which is 9.5 and with the number of trade 14 around 78 percent win rate with average win to loss ratio of 2.6 and thanks Yan for sharing your trades with us uh, these are some of my trades at the beginning of New York market session and as you see there was a downtrend channel that is losing momentum and uh, you can see from the price action and the uh, taken by SC order flow that the buyers are coming back and so I see that the rejection happened at the major uh, support area on the five minute chart and one minute charts and the buyers are back so the uptrend channel is forming so I'm taking now repeatedly long positions here and let the ninja trader atm manage position also manually i control position and actively manage them if needed so again waiting for pullback and with limit order try to get some good price for the buy and long position if I don't see the price follows the direction very fast and also order flow is not good so I close manually quickly because there's always opportunity there. So I want to keep my mm, loss minimum. So more pullbacks. Uh, one position and I'm trying to add more 
to that and just waiting it seems we are getting out of the core of the trend this pullback is deep so I'm just slightly adjusting a stop loss and try to see if I have to exit before hit my stop loss or the buyers come back and I set the target is small now the trend is choppy and it's showing deep correction looks like buyers came back and now I close it manually here because didn't go through it's a level that has to break because we just reached another resistance area and it's hard now the price broke and I'm adding position but it's choppy so again when it's choppy and it doesn't go to reach targets ninja trader uh, get out with the break even and a small profits wow the pullback is too deep now the volatility is increasing and the channel which was very nice is lost so this is not good and no trade this is filter one volatility so i'm not trading anymore because this range is not predictable and is very wide now So I came back again, end of the market, to see what happened. And market it seems to be very choppy. This uh, candles on the one minute charts has a lot of shadow. So I don't take risk to add more position, only one position and it uh, stopped out and didn't go through and the price came back. So volatility is and range is very wide and expanded so it's dangerous filter of volatility doesn't allow us to trade unless it breaks above and below this area to safely take some trades so hope these trades are useful for you thanks for your attention and have a good day